houses and luxury apartments, and then the council took out affordable housing, not the, the developer, but the council did it. I'm about to cuss out every last council person when I see them. In the city of New Orleans, with working class people, when housing is such at a at a crisis, like I can't even afford really where I stay at. Okay. I got a roommate, which is my sister. <laughs> you know. To keep it a hundred. To keep it a hundred. <laughs> real talk. And the developers say, "Hey, I'm developing this luxury complex, mm -hmm. and I'm going to include affordable housing in that deal." And the council of our city said, "Nah, don't worry about that." Now, After one of in New Orleans East city, city council person currently, James Gray, went on record and quoted and said, "Well, I don't think lower income people will feel comfortable in a luxury apartment complex." James Gray, I'm looking for you. <laughs> um, so he's saying black people don't want nice things. Right. He's saying that we will feel like out of place if we were in a luxury. Listen, I have a grandmother who lives with me. Put her in the complex, and I'm coming. I'm, I'm moving all my bags and bundles, and we moving on up to the east side. I don't know who he asked was going to feel uncomfortable, because he dang on sure didn't ask me. Okay? Because I would love to move. I would love to move on up. So, so that was unanimous decision? Unanimous. All of them said. Would, would that have been one of those deals like it did in um, American Can, where it had been like a... Um, uh, where you, things are affordable for, for a period of time and then people have to have to be moved out at that point? Well, I don't know if Oshun knows anything a little bit more. They didn't indicate if this was, was a five. Like, there was a time limit. Correct. They just said that it was included in the plan that they mm -hmm. were going to offer affordable housing at these uh, high-rises. Um, a lot of the people in the community, of course, this is Narity and Bywater, they were fighting against it for historical and preservation reasons, saying, you know, this is a historical neighborhood. We don't want high rises mm -hmm. by the river near our neighborhoods, which I understand. Um, but to take home. affordable housing after you approve the measure and take affordable housing out, it's like okay, what are you doing? Like you know, people in New Orleans are looking for places to stay, mm -hmm. um, whether it be musicians, artists, working class people, people who work in hotels. You know, so I just feel like it's really irresponsible of the council, and I, I really want to have a conversations with council members. I was like, okay, can you explain to me why? Well, why, why was this y'all decision? You know, because it seemed like for them, every last person to vote for this, it seemed quite odd. So I need to just talk to some people and trick the project. I, I would, yeah. I would want to hear some other reason besides I don't think low income people would want to live in luxury houses. Um, where was this proposed to be at again? On the riverfront in the Marigny. So, like, currently where the riverfront in the Marigny. So, currently where you would say the old Navy base is. Not that far down. Okay, so I'm, where so, you would, so I'm you thinking it's like closer to where Crescent Park. Yep. Okay, um, I'm just curious. Uh, my girl Naila Smith today told me about some a new artist law. That's not even all that new, but uh, the old Bell. Or what you say? Uh, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. That's she lived there. That's just uh, art space at Bell. She says uh, affordable housing for artists, yep. low income artists. Um, so do give that. A, what's what's the address on Bell? I try to look into it. The thing is, you know, um, I do have a full time job. I don't just have a job where I'm gigging or anything like that. Like that. And when the process for artists, like they wanted you to be like extremely, extremely poor. Like the like what they was asking for for your salary um, annually was like really. So, I mean, it's like, you know, it's like the people who are in the middle. What are you doing to help people who yeah. are making, you know, yeah. full, $400 studios, um, and then that's where it started then on up. But right. you have to make the income you, cap to be yeah, able to income, qualify. Right. right. You have to make the income cap in order to qualify to pay the $400. Okay. So, it's a gotcha. Okay. Like, you have to be poor enough to afford to live here. But if you make over 20000 you can't be no artist. So it's like a catch-22. Like, you, you have people who are passionate about their art and that's struggling to make it, so they, they cool. But then you have people who are doing a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Like Malik said, he falls in the middle. Mm -hmm. He ain't that poor, but he doggone show ain't rich. So how are you going to subsidize that? Like, how, how can you make this possible? When they redid the housing of the, the, the projects, let's call it the thing. When they redid the projects, they left most of them affordable housing, and then you rent out the rest of them for a higher cost. Mm -hmm. I can understand that, yeah, and I'm good. all for it. They even have, in where the St. Bernard was, they have the senior citizens part, 
where seniors, y'all come on in, y'all prove your income, they have spaces available. That's fine. But when you have something like the developers are saying, we're going to make this a provision for you so we won't be the bad guys. And then you say, no, I need to know, like, I want to be in the room where it happened. I need to know what was said for them to take, because no one can tell me what happened. Mm -hmm. And you know, I keep my ear to the streets. We can, we can make a call. Shut so, we can get a conversation I just, I just hope that my ticket can trial was not a part of, like... The family she was. I know, <laughs> like, I need you to tell T.D. Kind of we were rooting for you. <laughs> we were all wait, rooting yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, we're going to be... I, I, I would like to get an answer. Um, I'm curious. I didn't know that was happening, but I would like to get an answer. Right. Somebody tell me something besides, I don't think low-income people want to live. In luxury houses, um, but that's what's going on out here. Bats, you gonna you gonna bring it up? <laughs> what, what's going on out here? Oh man, um, uh, nah, this not a good one. A sixteen year old boy got shot in the ass. Who else got? Somebody got shot with an arrow. Did you talk about that last week? I mean, we did talk about that. Did see that's when 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 hood cats see Black Panther. Did you hear about that? Uh, somebody, a man, really got shot in the chest and by an arrow. arrow. And a nine. Right. And I was like, wow, like, this is really going who, down. Who, who got shot in the ass? What happened? I mean, because, uh, well, there's another movie. Some, oh, oh, yeah, Tom Hardy, Al Capone going to be getting shot here. Al Capone movie uh, called Fonzo starring Tom Hardy is getting shot here. But, no, the 16-year-old, they, they're not letting out a lot of information. He was running from gunfire. Apparently, um, a shooting occurred at 8.30 p.m. A victim told police he was standing outside when somebody just drove up and began shooting at him. He said he ain't know the people inside the vehicle, and we supposed to be all be boo-boo the fool. Okay. So... He so it was like something just bit me. Something <laughs> just jumped up and bit me. <laughs> out the blue, out the complete blue. He said somebody rolled up. They started shooting. He ran and got shot in the ass. He and he ran to the police, but he had nothing to say. But I got shot in the ass. <laughs> like that's it. He know the person. And you know, of course, dog. Come on, you niggas. Well, you don't know the person. They do drive by ass shootings all the time. <laughs> I mean, all the time, right? All the time. The, the, the famous. The the, there have been historical drive by ass shootings. Yes, the There's that old drive by ass shooting of '82. There was the famous First drive. First of all, if you saw Boys in the Hood, uh, when your boy was, yeah, he got shot in the ass among other places, but they shot him in his back. No, but did you know that Fifty, 50 Cent got shot nine times? One had to be in his ass, right? See, okay. But Boys in the Hood came on VH1 the other night, and I was amazed because Angela Bassett looks. That's See, I don't have cable right know. now, so I'm depending oh. on Netflix, Monique be down, but I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got to name that? We were getting out of here. You know what? We have time for a break before we come back and do this. We have time for a break, don't yeah. we? Because he said Monique be damned, and that just, that just opens it up. You. That means she's going to come for me. Because you know, you know I want to unpack Monique, but it's not on this. You said her name three times, she Yes! <laughs> 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 Did you call me dog in the day? Did you give me neck? Did you give me neck? Did you give me neck? <laughs> you back now, buddy. Please. I wish I would show up and, and make you make you answers for it. Like, so would you give your, your mama neck? <laughs> you know you hate you know you hate the black woman. So you give the black woman a neck. So, right, so you see playing so Monique will pop up in the studio and be like, beloved, beloved. Now, sweet, let me get some things straight. I don't want to Oh God, Martine. When you say I deserve neck. What you're saying is that <laughs> Yo mama you wanna, Sherry from the You want to escort your, your girlfriend up to the master's house to be raped. Did you see that part? Yeah, it's it's so it's, it's, Yeah. I I sound like Porky Bear. Yeah. That tripped me out, but I, oh man, uh, I couldn't have been Monique sister, I love you for real. Okay. And chance the rapper. Uh so uh Mastermind, what you got queued up for us, man? Something good. <laughs> uh, so he, brought up, he brought up Monique. Yeah. It's hard to not. Okay, it's time for our first time playing this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned to the Misbelief Radio Show and don't get nothing on you. So the video came back on. So, two things. I'll make some good show. Ray Brazil wanted me to tell y'all that Dylan has a play. Starting next week. Why you didn't say that? I, I, I forgot. I just thought about that. And second, I don't care what anybody say. Monique is dumb because she is doing the same actions that she's not going to work for anybody. No one's going to hire her. She can be right as 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 twenty five left feet. But guess what? Nobody's going to want to work with you, sweetheart. Stop doing that to yourself. Here's the thing. 
So her whole bad reputation for not being familiar hard to work with started because she didn't want to do the press junket for Precious. Mm -hmm. She felt like it was that time to do beyond what was in her contract. Mm -hmm. So now here it is, she got no contract, mm -hmm. no money, she's mm -hmm. still going on tour talking about something mm -hmm. um, that's earning her nothing. So she's willing to, to do things like traveling and promoting something. As Lee said, the real, it sounds like you just touring your story. You told you're touring about your boycott, not even about your business. That's pretty much right. I mean, that's all she got to tour and for she's, now. So pretty much she's on a tour about a problem. Mm -hmm. And what she doesn't realize is like, Whoopi told her, I wish you would have called me. Because if, if, if Lee and them call you and say, hey, we need you to do this. Whoopi was like, everybody know that it's part of the act of job to help promote the film. She, and so, she said, I would have told you that. And I don't, I don't like that. Right. Um... Monique compared that to going up into the into the room, almost like going <laughs> up and like. The sleep. He did not ask that woman to have sex. No, 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 no. not not, he not, not, not that. Not that. Talking about when she was on, she was on the View, and she compared that to going to going into the casting couch, pretty much. You know, like just playing along. I just want to say, as a black woman in the room, she was butthurt about the donkey of the day title, and my thing was like, that's not exclusive to you. Like that's a segment every day. Did she not listen. You right. know, she was, He's giving it to himself. Too. This is this is the same woman who's like skinny bitches. This that. Right, she, like, she say low dope? down shit about everybody, so that's why, why, like, why are you so butthurt? Her husband is, yeah, the worst manager, yeah. the, the worst negotiator. He's not even a good talker or a writer. <laughs> Go ahead and say that. I, I can't he to love her to death, though. I ain't mad at that. I don't love it death. No, I don't think he love her to death. Because, <laughs> if, because I think he's using her to death. Because if you love somebody, you would tell them, you have a hard conversation, it's like, look, baby, this is going to keep you from working. So I, mean, I think that he thinks that, that what, what they do what is doing good. is working. Yeah, right. it's gonna work for him. Mm, not if they all you know, But funny. you are still you're still funny. I'm right you're still talented because she is talented. She's still funny, and we want to see you work, Monique. So cut up the stop the foolishness. No, be can productive. I can I say this? As a black woman in the entertainment field, who has been told the same things that Monique has been told, as in just play the role, do what you gotta do. Don't nobody want to hear that. I'm sorry, I don't. And when she said boycott, I wish I could. I wish I could boycott the situation that I was in. You know what I'm saying? So when you look, when I look at it as okay, maybe her delivery is not what you expect, but the words that she's saying that happened to me. So I can't disagree. It's with a that. real issue, uh, like I color bias, well, or gender bias, bias, but she's not Monique. the one to take up. Well, the well we have your back, Monique. <laughs> When you do a, um, a distribution of Amazon Fire Sticks in the Hood, <laughs> if you want us to boycott Netflix, hand out some, go, come go to the different hoods and hand out, jailbroken, Amazon Fire Sticks. And be like, look, y'all ain't got to watch Netflix. I got y'all. Do that, Monique. You know what I'm saying? Them, I what, can't what? boycott the fat in your pockets. I'm sorry. Like, I mean... I can see, I mean, I don't understand. It's like all about, because you didn't get your check. Like, you want me to boycott. Like, I can't. But no, I mean, she has a valid point that's saying that people, and especially black women, are not paid what they need to be paid. Like, what Netflix offered Wanda Sykes was, was messed up. Yeah, that's messed up. But at the end of the day, like I tell everybody, do you know how many black women or many black people protested and tried to stay, uh, protest against going to the back of the bus? That one girl in Baton Rouge. She refused to give up her seat, but she was an unwed mother. Oh, yeah. So sometimes it takes the right messenger to get... Absolutely. They knew Rosa Parks was a good citizen. She paid her taxes. Rosa Parks what? looked old in 1950. <laughs> that woman was in her 20s. So I'm just saying, you need to write with this. Oh, she look, oh, look at her. She just, she's a perfect person for the case. I think that's crazy as hell. Like, you have to look a certain way for people to take you seriously? Is that what you're saying? Uh, now you have to look a certain way, but you have to be the right messenger to deliver deliver the message. Some messages you can't that's like a white man trying to teach me Africana studies. He may be cold, but the first time I look at him I'm be like, man, what the So that's what I'm saying is from the initial, you know It's a I, real issue. Mm -hmm. She's not the right one. Yeah, like by all the saying the same thing she said, yeah. but she's still getting that work. I could rally behind by you all. And I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told him. Okay? I don't give a fuck if Santa Claus is coming you to I'm about to go my last icon. I'll be back. Well, this is a cruising by Joshua Taylor. Now, see what I'm saying? It's, it's just a plain disrespect as women we get in this industry. This is... Like, he, I was talking. Shut and you up. see how he turned it off? So if we agree with her, what then? If we agree that color bias and gender bias is a real thing... 
Yeah. Does that make her not? It, no, a it is a real thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a real thing. Like we we have to say first, we have to stop denying the fact that it's not a real thing. It is a real thing. So if we boycott Netflix, what then? I, I don't understand her nah. end game. That's why, like, like it's so confusing. It's like you just want to hit Netflix in a pocket, but you still don't have no other options. Like, you right. know, like your comedy special still never come out. So it's like, what? She needs to take. I feel like she's trying to be stuff. lazy. Yeah, right. I feel like it's like you want to beg somebody to pay you. And I don't pay me this. this. I don't want to do no work, but pay me. I don't think I'm that's mad. It. I don't think that's part of the, the yeah, issue. That's what I and I told you, I don't think that's the issue. Yeah, she's going about it the wrong way. My man River has been getting booked in Baton Rouge lately. That is true. I saw that video, you had a good set, man. Thanks, pal. Thank you for doing some shows local can you tell him to come from off the balcony? Book me. He's playing on the third song. Oh, okay. Book me. He's saying book him. I can't book him. I could have, if I, if I had comments on a book home. Funny dude, though. I'm coming Wednesday. I'm singing. I am for real. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't even need people to come on Wednesday. Oh, oh. You know, I'll stay home. It ain't like you coming for me. I'll stay home then. I will stay so put. So who's going to talk about Monique? I want to get on DC Paul for a second. You sure can. Because he's an idiot. I just Paul said she hasn't clearly stated what her end game is. So Netflix didn't give you the offer you wanted. What now? Like what? That's an Olivia Pope question. Uh, I don't know if she has an end game. Yeah, it's like you just going, like you're trying to hit Netflix in the pocket. How would that help you? I don't think she has an end game. I don't think so either. Because I, I don't see any clear objective, because I, um, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think she has anything. And right now, unless she's planning on investing inside herself and doing her own specials. And, and she never said that. Things, like, yeah. she never said, oh, yeah, me and Sally, what her husband name is? Quincy, what her husband name is? Um, her husband? Yeah. Sydney. Sydney, yeah, so. You want to say Who this is? good. And which one's asking me to believe? You get on me about? You see Paul, then they had these fire ad birthday photos. I ain't seen that nerd in one poster. I'm gonna stop taking pictures of the nigga room. <laughs> oh, they were good. I like that. I ain't seen that nerd one on Facebook, Instagram. I mm -hmm. said, I'm, uh, so on Wednesdays, he said they're releasing a different picture of the jazz market. Jazz Murphy, cool I think DC Paul. Yeah, I came. I didn't come for the jam. It was his birthday. This is in is in order. Believe me. Okay, it's all right. Order. And then and then it got it got to be a throwback Thursday now. Yeah, it was. But yeah, but it was about your birthday. It wasn't about the mark. It was your birthday. I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it, man. You take some great pictures. So that was just to crowdize that day, especially when you were with the kids. They caught. I know. The man. Oh, it was so, oh man. Did I know you back in December? I know you back in December. Um, my radio show. I mean, my birthday party was. I am just so Your birthday in December? December 28th. Oh. I did, no, I did. We met in December. Oh, no, we didn't. Um, at the House of Blues. That was December? You know what? In solidarity, I'm going to leave. Uh, uh, Christmas. You like morning? You did. I'm leaving. Y'all Laura says, today. shouldn't. Um, Laura Marie says, shouldn't Netflix give her more out. exposure? Question. Who said that? Laura Marie. You know why she acting like this? Hey, she Laura Marie. Hey, that's one of I my Facebook friends. You know what? I figured it out. Monique acting bad like this because she has skinny bitch now. She needs to eat. Okay. Eat something, Monique. She okay. made Kaya and T.S. Madison break up. Come to New Orleans. She is poison. She is toxic. Monique. Monique is toxic. She made Countess Vaughn hair fall out. She is poison. Come on, please, Monique. I got you. What up, Theron? Oh, this is, uh, I played this last night. This, um, this your girl song, right? Oh. Yeah, that's fine. This your girl song. What Two up, Darren? This your girl song from last night, Jazz. Yep. I'm bringing jazz me Jazz and Crow Soul Fly. I'm bringing me a hard drive right. and get some of this good music. Aaron Murphy said he'll be there tonight. Who's that? Darren Murphy. But, um, you coming through to the, the throwdown by Take Him Down? Oh, you coming, Griff? Griffin? Me? Yeah. Oh. Huh? 
Isn't there a comedy show coming up? Like a, some local comedian show? Um, I'm at the house. What? I don't know what he's saying. I can't hear him. Something in the intercom. I was at the house. I'm at the house of blues uh, the last Wednesday in February. What'd you say? What's up, John Dixon? Sorry, next week. Next week. Next week. I don't know. Are right here? We don't know. We're this is the same song by Jazz with Crow Supply that I played what yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> and then me and Sherby going to for the AJ Show Live. Yeah, AJ? Me. You hear me all the time? Huh? Oh, sorry. He, he said, oh, that's real. AJ? AJ you know Terry? Hmm? AJ? AJ? What's up, Karita? Williams, I believe is his name. Karita Evans? What up, Karita? Me and Karita used to work together in Afghanistan. For real? Yeah. That was my co-worker. Y'all made it out. Look at that guy. Look at him. AJ's name is AJ Williams. She's a comedian in Hammond. And he bringing um, me and Sherby out there. Oh, sure. Say 30 seconds. Is this cool? We're back, y'all. Welcome back to the Liberty Radio Show here on WBOK AM 1230. Uh, I'm DC Paul, the Millennial Arsenio. You've been listening to this, this whole hour and 40 something minutes. Uh, listen to us talk about just things that interest us as young black creative millennials here in the city of New Orleans. Um, by the way, I'm the Millennial Arsenio, DC Paul. Who, 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 who's this on my right side? I'm silent. <laughs> I'm boycotting this radio station. All right, well, on that note, who's this on my left side? <laughs> this is the one and only, the magnificent, the not problematic, the beautiful, <laughs> the ultra articulate and creative unicorn of the show. <laughs> it's me, uh, Oshun. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. And who's that to, uh, to the, the left of Oshun, the right of Oshun? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Yo, this is Malik. I give tours. I snap photos. Um, uh -huh. And I, too, rise. Like, on the show. <laughs> <laughs> All these phenomenal women replacements. I love it. Who's that in the booth? I'm the boy that that thing I want. You hear me? You were supposed to be on shooting, too? You were supposed to be on shooting? <laughs> Somebody had to be bats. Be a queen. <laughs> <laughs> be a queen. She is my yeah. queen. <laughs> uh, real quick, before I get into uh, this next segment, you guys, Blazing Worship is in the morning, 5416 South Claiborne Avenue. It's a gospel brunch for a very specific crowd, and it's a lot of fun. It's the last Sunday of every month. That's tomorrow, tomorrow morning from 11 to 3, 5416 South Claiborne Avenue. Come on, join us. We're going up yonder. Actually, we're going to Wakanda. Uh, uh, it's bars. A little bit of both. Uh, so this here segment. My second favorite segment. Mm. I, I hate that I pick favorites, but mm -hmm. it's my second favorite segment here on mm. the radio show. Um, so I like to give our resident rebel. I'm sorry. I, this is my second favorite segment. No, I'm, I'm, no. I, I mean, hey, I'm, I'm giving me the side of uh, my our, our resident rebel. I give him um, just free reign to go unbridled and slap somebody on the back of that neck. On the back of that neck. Who's getting that neck today, my man? I mean, it's the master nectamonies here. You know. I'm so glad I'm not a slave. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? You'd be in your grave. For real, though. I am. <laughs> and I would be. You feel me? Oshun, ain't you glad that you could vote? Ain't that some cool-ish? You sure I can vote? <laughs> well, I hope you can vote, man. You know, you know what I mean? You know she got that couple of felonies. <laughs> I'm, I'm just I ain't saying, got no felonies. I'm just saying they got a lot of people who could, would be in like way, way better, like way worse situations if there weren't things like protests and happening in our world and our society. If we wasn't allowed to do that, though, you feel me? I just imagine, like, you know what I mean? If nobody ever said nothing, it'd just be a whole bunch of, like, white men running everything. Well, they're already doing that, right? But <laughs> be, yeah. it'd, just, it'd just be a crazy society we'll be living in. I just feel like I would still be a slave right now. So when I look at, on the right-hand side, this school, the Needville Independent School District Superintendent, which has advised their students that they will be suspended if they decide to do any demonstrations or pro protesting during school hours for any type of awareness, or any, that's what he says, for any type of protest or awareness. If they choose to do so, they'll be suspended for three days and even more consequences 
cases that can lead to suspension, I start thinking like, wait a minute, so you trying to teach our kids, and you know I get very personal when you be in the educational system and you dealing with children, and you got to shape who they're going to be. It trips me the hell out when you as a school system because apparently you got an issue with kids wanting to protest gun rights and gun laws and such, for whatever reason, like I guess you just must be cool with people getting shot up, shot the hell up, because we can't keep on, because I'm not trying to say, let's get into the gun situation. I'm not about to go hard up. Am I saying take people guns? I ain't got no dog in the fight. But I will say is something got to change. We can't just let things stay the exact same way. If these kids, if the kids from the mouth of babes, if they can see that we can't, we can't have things be the exact same way, you are a hell of a person, a hell of a mini hammer to try to halt that, to try to stifle that. So strapping down to the Curtis Roads of the Needville Independent School District on the right hand side, because you know I lit you up, and you one of them looking, one of them type of colonizers, if you heard me know what I'm saying. You get that neck, but we gonna hold up before we get to the, the sound effect, because on the black hand side, it been prefaced, it been prefaced, it been in the air, and this neck goes to Sydney Hicks. Sydney Hicks is the puppet master of the of the woman formerly known, the artist formerly known as Monique. And we should just call Sydney Hicks Sydney Neek. Sydney. So we're gonna give this 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 one to Sydney. That, cause that, cause I, it just trips me out because that's how I know Monique is because that's not, that's not Monique no more, you feel me? She's the artist formerly known as Monique because any grown woman at over 50 that's calling this man daddy like that's his name. Like that's his name, son. It's one thing to be coy and sexy, but she was saying it like daddy this, daddy that. I'm like, wait, hold up, my dude, like, that's your, that's your boyfriend, that's your husband, I understand that, but come on, son, like, at some point you gotta say this man's name and as we got you on the radio, as you got you on the radio and you, you talking this crap, you mad cause somebody called you donkey the other day without bringing up your, your receipts. They, the, the, they go to the issue I got with this off, off the dump, dude. Monique, you're using the fact that there, there's actually a problem in the workplace for black women. There's actually a problem. That is real. You're using that to ride and to get some personal money for yourself. Because you ain't care at all about none of this until your ducking start having issues. So when I look at this, I'm saying, and there's got to be something that the original Monique, who always talked about the fat itches, she got to be smarter than that to not see that. Look, you comparing Dave Chappelle selling out arenas to you selling out a club the other night and some people stood up and clapped a little bit. What in the world what's wrong with you so I'm not going but we already gave Monique a neck before so to sit so your husband got it you can just tell your husband got the, the hand up your ass because I don't like using one thing one thing to nick to, to signify another one to give to give give power to another that's some bull crap so to Sydney Hicks so to Curtis Rhodes of the Needville Independent School District in Texas both of y'all get wrapped up together you get that front neck that back neck the, in the elbow you get some chin action in the knee cause all y'all tripping y'all get that neck that neck that neck you heard me? To the front side, to the back side. love it. <laughs> My love. My love. And that's messed up to be telling this man that just because he disagreed with her, that he's the same as a coon that would take a black woman to Master House to be raped and then take her back. That's messed up what she said to Charlemagne. And just because he didn't agree with the fact that you try to compare yourself to greats that, that's, that's relevant, no, son, no. We're supposed to have a conversation, and that's messed up, lady. I think that that's called emotional manipulation, where they try to target mm -hmm. um, you t like some type of emotional or something. Anything. To try to and, and attach it to something that's not all that related. Right. Yep, that's what that's what it, Monique Because Because when people, I'm sorry to take up so much time, but people kept on calling in, and they kept on, she kept on, they kept calling in being mad about a real thing. Black women getting screwed up in their, in their industry. Mm -hmm. And everybody stood up for was saying that is wrong, which it is. But don't don't act like that's the thing that she's on because if that was the case, they got so many other people she would have been standing up for. And that's that neck, you heard me. <laughs> Osho don't like that one. Um, I ain't mad. I agree with that. I love you for real, though, Osho. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Martin always turns us up. And then I was saying, Kofa Bird like to take us down. I was saying, Kofa Session is where we like to meditate on something that came before us. Um, a time, a place, a person, something that helped to shape us as black millennials. <coughs> so Malik, Oshun, look back at it. <laughs> Malik, say your name. Oh. Look back at it. <laughs> Today we'll be talking about Lord Beaconsfield Landry, doctor and activist. Lord Beaconsfield Landry was born this date in 1878. He was an African American. On this date today is his birthday? Well, was he? Well, <laughs> March 11th. March 11th. Oh, March 11th. oh, oh okay. go, go, go. Sorry. <laughs> um, in 1878, he was an African American physician, uh, physician, civic leader, and vocal soloist. From Donaldville, Louisiana, that's where my people are from, his father, Perry Landry, was the first black mayor of Donaldville. L.B., like they call him, received his elementary education in Donaldson and later completed high school at Gilbert Academy in Baldwin. Mm -hmm. He received 
his MD degree in 1908 and returned to New Orleans to practice medicine in Algiers. Dr. Landry was always interested in keeping and helping the less fortunate, beginning a column, How to Keep Well, in the Louisiana Weekly on May 8, 1928. He also operated a free clinic for poor people in Algiers. He was also the director of the Oski, Oscar Lodi, Oscar, what that is? Oscar, Oscar something five, an all male vocal group. I can't, I can't. He just looks at <laughs> on January 23rd, 1934, Dr. Landry died of blood poisoning. He was originally buried in Mount Olivet Cemetery, but later his remains were reburied in Nashville where his family lived. R.I.P. That is shady. Like, the doctor got died from blood poisoning? <laughs> this, this well, was, that was intentional. Back, that was back in the day. No, that was though. intentional. I'm sorry. That was that medical. L.B. Landry. L.B. Landry. Yeah, L.B. Landry School is named after him. And we're going to open up this cold case to help whoever <laughs> <laughs> took him out. Because I think that's a fair. That was the pettiest and cold session. Yeah, well, well, that's how I think cold session is not L.B. Landry this week, yo. We're going to do better next week, I promise. If you don't get canceled. If you don't get canceled, we'll be back next week, um, same time, same place. Boy, they go boycott us back. Oh, I wish one of you would come boycott me, me. I would love I'm all. I would, love, I would love Sydney to come. Ooh. Oh, man, he already can't talk right. <laughs> it, it, it won't be no kind of argument. And, and he can't send an email. Oh, man, he did not. Jeez, Louise, you better never write me nothing. Uh, all right, so you guys, I do this show every Saturday with some of my favorite people in the world. Who are they? It's me, Oshun. You can follow me at... Oh, yeah. You can follow me on the Instagram at Oshun SL11. Mm-hmm. Yo, this is Malik. You can follow me at No Nola Tours and at Frozen Photography with a PH. That actor guy, Martin Bass Bradford, at Mr. Bats on all your social media platforms. And check out the Fly With Bats podcast and Gumbo My Survival Full on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I'm on DC Paul's Millennial Arsenio. Check me out at whoisdcpaul.com and at whoisdcpaul on all social networks. Um, shout out to our guest this week, Ms. Maiden, Megan Braden Perry. We gotta have her back. Yeah, yeah we gotta have her back. Author of Crescent City Snow. She's so cool and so New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to Raheem Glassby. Also so cool and so New Orleans. Mm-hmm. We love him. He'll be at the Taking Down Throwdown right after this at the Crescent City Boxing Gym. Um, so yeah, you guys stay tuned. WBOK be okay 1230 AM. Don't get none on ya. Mike Mooney. I thought we all were just joining. Mike Mooney. I thought it was going down. Don't get none on ya. Don't get none on ya like Monique. What, fair shit or keep going? Monique got too much on her. All types of shit on. Y'all ain't right. Dog shit. (laughs) Apple shit. But shout out to Viola though. Can't (laughs) shit. Yeah, for real. I feel like Viola said, said it right, man. Exactly. Viola said, look, y'all calling me the Black Mel Street. Y'all putting all that acclaim on me, so why don't y'all give me my duck? And she ain't asking for no pity parties and right. the dumb white cots. She just said, look, that's what y'all call me. Totally different. And then, I didn't, I didn't and, prove this. And, and she still she's still working. Letting her resume speak for itself. She ain't, well, I am the most decorated. We, we, we know you what see, you already. Yeah. We, we Misunderstood don't got to be explained. Nah, I want to ask a thing. I just want to say, as a black, the only black, the only black woman black in this room, I understand her plight. We do too. We do too. And she might not have said it the way that people wanted her to say it. It's not about the house. She said it. I just want to say I understand. Oh, come on, y'all. It's about well, ignoring her bad reputation. Here. It's about ignoring the fact that she only oh. selling out clubs while the people she comparing herself selling out arenas. That is just facts. Okay, so well, y'all gonna get off on, of Monique. On that note, wait, 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 wait. I just want to tell Monique. <laughs> y'all gonna leave you her and daddy alone. <laughs> And daddy. My love. Because <laughs> she love y'all for real. real. I hate you. Wakanda. Check is a connector. In Wakanda, I know. Monique is getting million dollar exactly. deals. Exactly. In Wakanda. Whoa, no, Monique. Monique is out in Wakanda. Yes. She is in Wakanda. She is in Wakanda. She is in Wakanda. No, Monique is part of Jabari tribe. She's in the border. 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 She's in the Amazing friends, thanks to Raheem Glassby. Oh, we're talking about Thanks to all of our great 
this, listeners, if you supporters, like doing viewers, the viewers, thanks as always yeah, to yeah, the cameraman. And B. And A. Chris what up, River? Come on in here with us. Oh. oh. This is us. Ah! Forever Wakanda. Wakanda. Forever. Forever. Wakanda. Forever. Hey, you are not from Wakanda. You gotta modulate. 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 You are not from Wakanda I if you don't have blue I'm on your head. I think that in Wakanda, Monique would have more options than just that fake ponytail in the bun. She would have a couple more ponytail options in Wakanda. Are your ponytail options nice in Wakanda? If y'all didn't know, in Wakanda, shea butter is absolutely free. You don't have to pay and it's edible. Bet that. In Wakanda, nobody's weed screams are only date white men. You know how you can have a weed and your, your, your weed screams are only date white men? Oh, it's, a, it's a thing. You, you've seen some, some chicks that they weed, they're just screaming like, only date white men. Because of Steph. That's one, yep. <laughs> it's, not, it's not well blended, that's another one. Um, the roots, the roots are usually pretty, um, pretty, uh, uh, it is what it is. Yeah, you and it.